test. One, two, three. <laughs> Hi, I'm Joe Karowski, head brewer here at White Labs, and I'm here today to talk to you about the East Coast IPA, also known as the Hazy IPA. Besides the turbidity of the IPA, the main differences between the West Coast and the East Coast um, is going to be a softer mouthfeel, less bitterness, and a very expressive fruity body in the beer. Uh, you achieve this through the ingredients used, uh, a soft water profile, oats or wheat with high protein content, and uh, yeast that's going to be very active in biotransformation. The Hazy IPA is often uh, dry hopped in mid-fermentation. The reason to do this is to actually increase a process called biotransformation. Biotransformation is when yeast uh, reacts with glycosides on the hops to form new compounds that wouldn't normally be in a fermented product. Dry hopping mid-fermentation does bring unique flavors into your beer, but it does lead to some problems. Mid-fermentation, you are actually gonna blow off a lot of hop volatiles that would have uh, been present, and you're also making it more difficult to harvest the yeast later on. Aromatic fruity esters collide with a lot of hops in this beer to give it a, a full range of bouquet and make it a juicy, hazy IPA. You could actually see this in our tasting room when we showcase our house IPA, the Taber. Um, in one variation, it has California Ale Yeast 001. It's a very West Coast style. And the other one, 008, East Coast IPA, uh, remains hazy and produces a full bouquet of esters which play with the hops and make it much more juicy. The way your yeast acts in fermentation is very important to contributing to the, you know, the full flavor of the beer. Choosing a yeast with low flocculation helps the biotransformation and fruity esters kind of stay in suspension longer. The main contributor of the haze should not be the yeast, but more of a protein polyphenol complex. It does contribute and choosing low flocculation is important. So strain selection to get that flavor profile you want is very important. Uh, here uh, in our brewery, we've had the most success in our hazy IPAs um, using the East Coast Ale Yeast, London Fog, our hazy Coastal Blend, uh, all three of our Quake strains, and one of my personal uh, less known favorites would be uh, 644, which is our Sac Trois. Let us know in the comment section what works best in your hazy IPAs. <laughs>